Hi there, this is Tammy with Tammy Stamping Therapy. Welcome back to my channel. This is week eight for my um, Stamparatus video series, week eight of 12. I forgot to take these out of their sleeves, but I think you can see them okay without. Um, in week one, we made this card, and this card used this stamp and die set where this is all one stamp, all these sentiments, there's 19 sentiments, and then this die cuts them all out at once. It's one die. So it was showing you how to do stamping with a background stamp, sort of. In week two, I did step it down, so I showed you how to take the Stamparatus and keep moving it down to do this. Love this card. I actually love all these cards. Week three was multiple step stamping, so I showed you how to stamp this flower, um, First the outline and then the color part and then this die set had this fun flower to put on there so I did that instead of the hydrangea flower stamped flower. That was three. Week four I showed you mirror image stamping. We used this cute little dog. I showed you how this is one stamp, how to stamp it both directions. Week five that right? I don't know if I'm out of order now. Week five was showing you how to um, stamp on already cut die cuts to die cut first and then stamp and that's when I did this with this cute little snail. I need to make more cards with that cute little snail. Uh, week six was shadow stamping so I showed you how to do this. It's funny some people commented they do that accidentally. Um, I did find when I was making my samples that if you do it too big, it just looks blurry. Um, there's like a fine line to get it just right so it looks like a shadow and not like you made a mistake on your card. Um, last week, I did this card where I showed you thumping and spritzing. So we, um, I used a solid stamp. Well, it's not totally solid. It has little lines where you ink it up with one color and then use markers to thump on it. And then I spritzed a little bit of water on it. I showed it to you without spritzing also. And today what I'm going to show you is called spotlight stamping. I'm sure you've seen this before. Uh, you don't need a stamparatus to do it, but I'm going to show you how the stamparatus can help you with it. So this is one of the two cards that I made. And this is the other one. Oops, that little bow's popping out everywhere. And I will show you how I did this and the supplies that I used. Um, I am using this Flowering Bloom stamp set. I absolutely love this flower. This actually has a die set that goes with it, but I did not use it for this card. Um, but I do want to make some other things with this flower. Um, I also used... Right now with the Hydrangea Suite, Stampin' Up! has these acetate sheets that uh, they either come in purple or this pink color, and I don't remember what color it is. And sorry for the glare, it's hard to see. But then on the back of both of them it's silver. Both of them are silver? Yes. Um, so you have options as to what you're going to do with them. And in each package there's two designs. So you can see this one is more open. And this has smaller holes in it. Um, I'm also using this crinkled seam binding ribbon. It is quarter inch white ribbon. I'm using Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather cardstock and ink as well as Whisper White Thick. And let's get started. Now I've made a mess. Here it is. That was my dog sneezing. <clears throat> Here's my Stamparatus. <clears throat> so I'm going to also stamp the insides of the cards. And this is the Highland Heather. And it's stamped off once. And you can, if you're using a dark pen, you can write right over the top of that. I could have stamped it off one more time, but I like the way that looks. Um, so... You'll see on my page here I have two different marks. This mark is for 
this piece and then this mark is for this inside piece. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find all my little pieces. The first thing I'm going to do is stamp the flower with Highland Heather ink. And I'm putting it inside my little marks. I'm using Highland Heather first just because it's the lighter of the two colors. Um, which makes it easier. Looks like I didn't clean that very well when I used my gorgeous grape. So you can't see that. I'm just inking this up. And the way I decided where to put that flower was I first put down my background piece and placed the flower and then I placed this piece where it needed to be so I don't have to move my flower. So I'm going to do this. Isn't that pretty? I just love this flower. I think it is so, so pretty. And then, for the second one, <clears throat> I'm going to wipe off my ink pad, and I'm going to stamp with Gorgeous Grape. When I stamp this one, this is really the wow for me because I love the stamp. And then this was just, oh my, isn't that pretty? Very, very pretty. Now before I take away the Stamparatus, before we move on to the next thing, I'm going to do the other two pieces, the inside pieces, so I can put this away. So here is one this right here. I need something. Where's my background paper? I have stuff everywhere. I need. And I think I lay everything out and then it's not there when I need it. So. Here's a piece of background paper because I need to stamp this off once. I'm inking that up with Highland Heather. I'm going to stamp it once on my scrap paper, and then I'm going to stamp it on here, which makes it a light image, which is lighter than before. I like that better. For it to be just like a, almost like a watermark. even lighter. Cool. And I'm done with this. So then I'm going to take these two images. I know that these are the same size and the flowers in the exact same spot on both. So I'm going to stack them together and I'm taking a one inch circle punch and I'm going to pick a part that I want to be a focal part. And I'm picking a part that has a little bit of the white space because that makes it easier to line it up when you go to put it together. So I'm done with that guy. So then you have these two pieces. They look like this. These two pieces. Done with that. And then I need this. And this, and I'm going to um, add these. So this is a one inch circle punch. And then I die cut a little scallop circle out of the scallop circles. This is the smallest one, and it fits perfect with the one inch circle punch. So that is those two. I'm going to back these before I do my next step. Sorry, banged my. I was looking for this. I 
And if you'll remember, the whole point for these videos is um, to show you how to use the Stamparatus. So I try to make the cards themselves very simple. Um, and normally for me, very simple would mean there's a lot of white on white, but I don't want every card to be white on white. So I was happy to bring in this acetate to add some more color. Now this I'm going to add with glue also. So you're going to put the dark one on the light and the light one on the dark. And I want to line this up so you can see it's going to go like this. I'm going to use glue for this. pretty good and do the same thing with this one so I'm done with the glue now I'm going to assemble my cards We'll start with the inside. There's the inside of this card, and then I'm going to layer up my outside. For the gorgeous grape one, I'm going to put white behind the acetate, and the reason I'm doing that is so it'll show up better, because if I just put down the purple, I don't know how well you can see that. It, you can't see all the beauty of it, so if you put the white behind it, I think it makes a big difference. that in there and then the acetate itself um, you cannot see I just used my clear adhesive on the back and you can't really see it through it which this is I didn't have this problem earlier so as long as you're using a, some kind of a tape runner they have clear adhesive and we're going to cover up part of it anyway but because it's clear adhesive you can't see it through there. And then I'm going to put this one on. I like to offset things a little bit, so in the upper left. And then with this one, husband coughing in the background and the dog making noise in the kitchen and now she's in here clickety clacking around she needs her toenails cut so this is Highland Heather And this one I'm going to put the silver side up, and you, I like the way that looks, so I'm not putting white behind it. Um, this acetate, on one side, it does have a clear film you need to peel off, and I've already done that. On this one, the clear film, it seemed, was on the silver side. So I peeled that off. I think I did. Yep, it's not there. this up here and then I have already stamped and punched um, this comes with the stamp set this little thank you so I stamped it and I punched it out with my one inch circle punch and it's gorgeous grape I'll put that there
there. And then I'm going to put on my bows. Right there. Right there. And if your bow, well, they'll lay down when they've been in an envelope, but like that one's sticking up funny, you can take a glue dot and make it do what you want it to do. So I'm going to like fold this little glue dot in half. And then I'm going to tell this, I want you to be right there. So I'm going to put this right here. And I'm going to put that right there on top of it. And the other one will, once it's been in an envelope, the other one will lay down better. So those are the two cards that I did today with my Stamparatus. Um, this is week number eight. And there's four more weeks to go. After the twelfth video, I'm going to be giving away a Stamparatus and... This stamp and die set, not this one, a brand new stamp and die set. Um, and then the stamp press has a case that will go with it. And the way I'm going to do that giveaway is you need to have watched all 12, watched, like, and comment on all 12 videos. And I will randomly pick a video, and then I'll use the random comment picker to choose a winner. I will check to be sure that person has gone and, um, liked and commented on all 12 videos. So this is my card for week eight. This is Spotlight Stamping. Let me know what you think. I think these cards are beautiful because they're purple. I love purple. Um, so thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.